Many of you know my testimonial from Cancun, June 2016. And as you know, Dr. Joe talks about the space and how deep it is and how wide it is. And sometimes the river for me is that deep and can be that wide. And I really didn't know that after I gave my testimonial, but I do know that now. And I want all of you to know that because that's important that we cross the river and then there's a little more river and maybe a little more river and a little more river. And so for me, my next biggest challenge about this river was in Cabo. However, I'd like to just back up a second and say that four years ago, the doctor told me, you're going in a wheelchair. And I said, no, I'm not. So I just want you to know that part first. Now we're in Cabo, and it's three nights of dream time, which means we're on the floor on yoga mats. And um, I don't lie on the floor on a good day. So it was challenging, and I could have left, and I don't leave. I never leave, and I don't give up. So I'm on the floor. The third night was a lot of pain, a lot of pain for me. And I woke up in the morning, didn't sleep much, and I couldn't walk, and I couldn't use my left leg at all. And during that night, when Dr. Joe said, I hope you have mystical experiences, I experienced this picture of this humongous wheelchair, the size of which I've never seen. And I experienced myself taking a huge red pen and making a big X on the wheelchair. But when I woke up, I couldn't walk. My husband came from the other side of the room and took me back to our room, which was near the ocean. And I'm changing my clothes, and he said, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm going to the walking meditation. He said, honey, you can't walk. I said, I know I can't walk. You'll help me, please help me down the steps to the ocean, and then I'll be fine. He says, honey, I think you're crazy, and you shouldn't go because you can't walk. And I said, I know you're worried. I appreciate and love you, but I'm going. So help me go there. So I get to the ocean, I meditate by the ocean, I'm not doing walking meditation, I'm just with the ocean, and I'm really happy. And I complete my meditation, I'm thankful, and I start to walk back when my left leg isn't coming at all. And I don't know if any of you have done a Vipassana walking meditation where it is so slow uh, you're moving so slowly, you're placing a foot and then you're putting it down, you're lifting and moving and placing, it's very slow. So my husband, who's keeping an eye on me about 20 feet away, says, oh look, she's fine, she's doing the Vipassana walking meditation. And I'm not, I'm really not walking and I'm really dragging this left leg. But it's wonderful that he thought I was walking and so that's a funny story. But I can't make it to the steps so I stop. And a woman, she's walking right toward me from down the beach. And as you know, in walking meditation, we don't interrupt each other, everyone's in trance, so I wasn't about to stop and ask for help. She comes up to me and says, are you the person I'm supposed to help? And I look at her and I say, yes, I am. And she said, well, I heard her in my head that I'm supposed to stop walking and help a person. And I said, well, that's me. And so she and then other people helped me go up the steps. And I get into a cart, and somebody went to get my husband, Tyler. And we go to Donna's room, and Donna is an amazing acupuncturist. And so she starts to put needles in me. Tyler comes into the room, and Joanne is over here. I'm laying on a bed, flat down on her pillow. Joanne is over here doing whatever healing she does and speaking, but I really can't hear her, but I know she's helping me. So the needles are in, and uh, Donna says, so what is that emotion being held there? Now, I know it's really brave of me to share this with you all, but I think it's important. So I realize that the emotion being held here are two rapes that I've had earlier in my life, and I've worked on those for eons. I mean, many years, I've worked on every way to get out that out of my body. No idea was still there. So I'm beating pillows and I'm screaming and I'm yelling and I'm outraged. I'm taking my power back. And I really think I'm done. And Joanne says, you're not done. So I'm now ra you know, raging again and beating the pillows, crying a lot. And now I know I'm done. And so Donna, who's also an expert in the kinesio tape, she's a sports doctor, sports acupuncturist, tapes me up. And I literally walk out of the room walking, just walking out of the room. And I think, 
this is amazing because Dr. Joe teaches us that emotions get stored in the body, and I believe they're like in a bubble, and then when we're ready to deal with them, they come up for healing. And so this came up for healing. So that was what happened to me in Cabo, and I wanted to share that because it's so important for us to know that that river is there for us to continue to cross. So here I am here now in Santa Fe, and I'm in the Healing Coherence Circle yesterday, and the people have not come in to surround me in the circle. And I'm laying there. And I feel and I see beings that are coming to me in the circle that are not in the tribe. They're not embodied here in the tribe. And first comes the two rapists. And they say, I'm sorry. Then comes one husband who took all my money and says, I'm sorry. Then my mother comes and says, I'm really sorry that I never let you be you. Then my new grandchild, who's going to appear in form in, in August, comes in a spirit form and is there. My present husband's there. My husband who passed away is there. My children are there. And I feel so loved and so supported. And beings I didn't know were there. And so before the people came to surround me, I was already surrounded with so much love that I was in this space of incredible gratitude, incredible gratitude. And then they came and we did the healing and my legs that never raise up were going all the way up. My body was lifting and I was shaking and I was feeling, um, oh, I was feeling so much love. I was seeing all kinds of things, but mostly I was feeling love it didn't matter to me what I was seeing. I was feeling so supported and so, uh, so loved and so much in the flow. And I just want you to all to know, never give up, no matter what. Just never give up and always know. Just like Dr. Joe says, there's more love. There's always more love and there's always more healing for you to have. And always go for it. And that's what I wanted to share today. Thank you.